What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's Thursday. We're going to do a quick roundup of everything that's new in eFootball today. So we've got a brand new startup campaign, which is going to go from today the 26th all the way to the 3rd of the 10th. And that is going to get you about 300 coins, right? So you have 50 today, 40 for the next three days, then 50, then 40 and 40, okay? That's also going to be added to your inbox, the last Barcelona startup campaign. The rest of the players that we have here as well, we'll get into this in a second, right? But the rest of the players that we have here is going to be another Showtime pack and a new Fernando Torres pack. We also have the return of the European Club Championship or the Europa League and Champions League Player of the Week cards. And we also have the other Player of the Weeks as well, right? So just to give you a quick roundup of everything that's new in here, there is this startup event in here as well. And lads, it is the penalty shootout. So that is back against players. So this is a normal player v player. Smart Assist Trial Volume Number 2. Now, lads, honestly, man, I feel like this Smart Assist needs to get in the bin. I honestly don't know why they need two volumes of it. I, I knew that it was going to come, obviously, but... Yeah, it's just really, really, really uh, hard to play Smart Assist, man, if you play manual. I mean, if you don't play manual, you'll enjoy Smart Assist a little bit because it, it just assists even more. But for me, it's not for me. Not for me, uh, unless they change things, right? It's just too simple. The gameplay is too simplified. Uh, you also have co-op back, you have your Italian clubs that's still ongoing, well they're still ongoing for the last couple of days, and then you have the challenge event here with the national team event, and um, that is going to be new as well, so this is going to be your free spin, so you complete this event, you get your free worldwide player of the week spin, and then this is going to be the flexible challenge event, it's against the AI, you set the match level to suit your skill level, complete challenges to earn not only main rewards, but level rewards as well, chosen on your match level, so not really anything major, um, obviously everything else is still ongoing as normal, right, now just one thing before we go into the cards, right, they do talk about this here, um, which is the level training pack issue, right, our program issue, so it says when exchanging football points for level training programs, the displayed number of remaining level trainers is higher than the actual amount, right, so it just says it's rectified by, you know, swapping out the or restarting the game and there is a brand new torres pack as well right so we'll just have a look at this um in the shop there is nothing in the shop but they have added Vinny here um with the players so Vinny is pretty decent for a free card lads i'm not gonna lie now i have this card already um but it is a pretty decent card he definitely goes fairly nice he's got some really nice skills he's got you know double touch flip flap and soul control off the rip it's a lovely card honestly this card is really really nice so that is for free if you want for five thousand points in game right also with the strips, they don't have anything new there. And then, of course, with the player packs that we're seeing here. The player packs, I think with the eFootball coins, lads, there's two ways of looking at it, okay? I don't know, do people actually like the David Villa and Guardiola packs here? And would they like more packs in this? Or if they do prefer just buying stuff, you know, with coins rather than the real money. It's pretty much the same thing anyway. Obviously, only that you can earn um the coins a little bit easier right now we do have these special player packs in here i'm going to do full reviews on these as well but we have the european club championship you have ildes you have konate you've got michael olise and these are all going to be having showtime skills or, or extra skills i should say right that is the full list there endrick is in as a 92 overall center forward it's definitely not his best version but if you missed out on the old version it's another chance nuna mendes antoine griezmann it, it's an okay pack lads honestly it's nothing to get too excited about but the Worldwide Player of the Week, we also have a luxury Vinny Jr. in here who goes to 97 overall. Now, I don't know why he's in here when you can get the free one for 5,000 points, I suppose, if you're starting off and you fancy a quick spin at him. He's going to go pretty much every stat that you want above 85, um, apart from his finishing. But it's a very solid card, very, very, very solid card, in fact, um, that can play in multiple different positions. As you see there, he can play center forward, even though he's down as a prolific winger. That's not a, that big of a deal. You also have Nicholas Jackson and David De Gea is back as well, which is pretty random. Darwin Nunes is in there. Uh, finally, the main man from Sport in Lisbon has got a card as well. A lot of people were asking about his card, so it's good to see that. And of course, we also do have Pablo Torre in there as well, um, who's going to be a young 21-year-old uh, centre midfielder from Barcelona. It looks pretty decent. But yeah, the player of the weeks, they're trying to rectify it a little bit um but for me yeah maybe i'm just not hype enough for it and then last but not least we have the j league monthly mvps with phenomenal finishing and bullet header this guy's got bullet header uh rafael elias he goes to 40 levels and he's going to get a boost to every single stat with a plus three to every single stat here as long as you have 20 plus players in the squad from the j1 league and the j2 league so again it depends man we'll do full reviews on those as well um coming in now there is also on top of that as well right we do have a fernando torres pack and this is the first time that there's been well one of the one of the only times that this pack has come out because this was an exclusive card 
for Fernando Torres, right? And this is what this is including, right? It's 500 coins for this version of Torres. He's 32 levels overall. It's a 29-year-old version of Torres. So he was kind of on the downward spiral um, once he left Liverpool. He was obviously had a couple of injuries. It's a nice card. I mean, you throw flip-flap on him, you've got a very silky mover. He's 186 CM. He's under 80 kg. It's a very solid kind of motion-based Torres. I, I do like this card. One thing that lets him down, man, is the balance and the tight possession. It's not going to ever be meta. Um, and physical contact is not going to go past 85, really, with the way you train him, or even 80, uh, to be fair. But listen, it's a solid card for 500 coins. You also get 24,000 trainer programs. To be honest with you, it's not great value. I'll be honest. It's not great value, really. But it's the, one of the first times that they've had him in with a manager pack here. We will be getting new managers in about a month as well. And that should usher in a new update for the game. But I don't think we're going to be getting a brand new update until, you know, uh, maybe a couple of weeks time, right? So that is pretty much it, lads. As I said, we will be back live streaming today. Let me know what you guys think of this content. Um, there's nothing else really going on here. Obviously, the startup campaigns, a lot of people are still enjoying the startup campaigns, you know, that, that probably are new to the game. I mean, the game is going from strength to strength on mobile. Um, but we'll have a chat later on about it uh, on the stream. Obviously, the daily game is still ongoing as well. You have all your login bonuses here as well, your eFootball points, your startup campaign, everything. So they are starting to give you a few more things. Um, but I do feel like that a few of the things that they talk about here um, is, is probably kind of going to be gameplay stuff that they wait for the big update to come, right? So they say there is an issue where the game may become inoperable upon resuming. Specifically, it happens after selecting skill up missions. It says, when performing a finesse dribble near the line, players would move in a way to avoid letting the ball get out of play. This only happens when smart assist is turned on. Normally, smart assist will not be effective when using finesse dribble. Like, that worries me, man. That worries me, that, that way about smart assist. Because we had it in the last game we were playing. Literally, smart assist was adapting our runs and stopping us from moving our defenders very manually. When you play manually, the game is a different thing, you know, because you're moving your players regularly and consistently. Whereas with smart assist they hold a predetermined kind of like line, if that makes sense, right? So yeah, that is it for me. I'll be live streaming in a little bit, probably about an hour after this video goes up, and I will talk to you then. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.